So if you're having trouble um, remembering your login information for the OSHA Dartmouth registration website, um, I'm just going to show you a quick series of steps for you to recover or reset that password. So um, you may very well start on the Dartmouth homepage, the OSHA Dartmouth homepage. When you do, you see a login button here. Click that. And you'll be taken to your login page. You would enter your username here and your password here, but if you don't remember it or you keep getting blocked, go to the Forgot Your Password link here and you click to reset. First thing you need to do is to enter your email address where you're going to be receiving the reset information. And once you submit, you'll see that go to login page. Don't do anything else here for now. What you want to do is go to your email account. So as you can see, I have my email account here and in my inbox, I have this message from Osher Life One Learning Institute. If it's not in your inbox, it may be in your spam folder and you'd have to look over, um, depending on what email account you use. Um, it could be in spam, there could be a junk mail folder. If it's not in your inbox, look for it there. Um, when you get this message, you're gonna see that it says to reset. You click on the link below. Be aware your username is gonna be displayed on the password reset page. The minute I click this and go to the page, I'm gonna see my username. I don't see it in this message. So what I do is I click that link, it opens a new window, and it tells me to reset my password. Now this is my current username. This is what I have to enter in order to log in in a few minutes. So take note of this. If it's not something easy to remember, if it's just a series of letters and numbers, write it down so that you get it um, accurate later. Everything is case sensitive. So if there's a capital letter, I enter it as a capital, lowercase is lowercase. Um, once I take note of that, I can go down here and select a new password. So I'm typing in a sequence here. These are the rules, minimum of eight characters. You have to have an uppercase, at least three lowercase, a digit and a non-alphanumeric character, like an exclamation mark or other symbol. Um, once you type it in there, you have to type it once more in the space just below, then you submit. So it confirms that I've reset my password. I can now log in. So I just go up to the button here, press log in. I have to enter my username, and you saw that on the last screen. I enter the password I just selected, and type log in. And give it a minute to work. And here we are, I've successfully logged in. I can see my name appear up on the upper right. Once you've logged in successfully, um, you can actually do a few things. Number one, you can begin registering if you're all set to register for courses. If you go up to the upper left of the window, you can actually purchase or renew your membership uh, if you need to do that. Um, you can also do a couple of other things by clicking your name. You pull up a few options. Um, you can look at your account, all of your account settings, your course registration history, your current membership status. You can change your password and you can also log out of your account. I'm just very quickly gonna show you what it looks like when you view your account. The first thing you'll see is a breakdown of your account information. The first item is that username. If you do not like your current username, you can change it right here. You would type in the new entry, whatever you want it to say, scroll down a little bit, and you will get to the save button, which is toward the bottom of the screen. Um, on the way, you'll see many different things. You'll see a, a list of your past course registrations. Um, this very bottom section, you can change your address. You can check invoices that have gone out to you. You can also check your payment history, um, and you can even download and then print that information. Um, this is really helpful. It's a good idea to check your account status every once in a while. And once you're done, you simply go back up to your name and you select the logout button. So there you have it. I hope that these instructions help you um, if you do find it necessary to reset your password. And in the meantime, if you have any questions, please contact the OSHA office. We are always glad to do what we can to help you access your account.